hey friends welcome back to my channel if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you've been here before thank you so so much for tuning back in so i am back with another video i know i've been gone for such a long time not really a long time but it's a long time for me it's it's been three weeks if not four weeks a month so yeah i am back and better and that's on that so i am back with just a simple tutorial on this one i'm going to be showing you guys uh, my everyday makeup routine what i do every time i go to work this is going to be simple quick and easy for everyone who has a nine to five if you have to get get up if you have to get up <laughs> if you have to go to work each and every day this beat is for you honey so yeah if you're interested in seeing that then go ahead and just you know keep on watching so now before i put on any sort of makeup i put on the sunscreen from Clex. i've already done that so yeah that's pretty much the first thing that i do because I don't know i'm just used to it and it helps protect my my skin from the sun rays and so forth and then i'm going to prime with this um primer this is the maybelline new york um baby skin instant pore eraser this primer is good um yeah, it's just a primer honestly it's nothing special it's just a primer i know it's pretty famous for a primer this one to be more specific it, it's a very famous primer but it does it's it's its job it does erase a pause and yeah so that's the reason why i i wear that specific primer and then i just go ahead and put it on my t-zone so for my everyday beats i make sure that i always prime sometimes i forget to prime my face i don't know if i'm the only one who forgets to prime their face but i actually do forget to prime but when i'm going to work because i am going to speak the whole day and you know be out and about at work i need a primer like i need a primer so that my makeup lasts longer and you know so forth and then after that i just do my brows i'm just going to go and do my brows off camera because i can't speak and do my brows at the same time so you guys are going to forgive me for that if you guys want a tutorial please comment down below i am going to film um an updated brow routine if you guys want so um, comment down below if you want so i am back like i said i like to keep everything simple when i'm going to work and stuff like that I don't do the whole um brow routine lay my brows down and so forth because i am always rushing to work so yeah there's uh, my brows these are the brows i always do on a daily basis when i'm rushing to work and so yeah and then for my foundation i'm going to use the candid um the revlon candid foundation this is in the color 530 um pecan um yeah let's do that like i said i already um primed my face if you see me looking on the side that's because my mirror is right over there so out of everything that i do simple my foundation routine is never simple like whether i'm going to work i'm going to church i'm going to i don't know my foundation is always going to be full coverage i'm always going to make sure that my sins my scars are covered that's just that's just me so i go ahead and blend like so using my damp um sponge to just you know blend that in like so this foundation is beautiful guys this foundation is gorgeous look at look at this look at the glow look at the glow even though you can still see some of my scars and whatever but look at skin this foundation is like skin skin 
Look at how these scars are just going to like disappear. Guys, this foundation is is beautiful. This foundation is beautiful. And for some odd reason, um, this color matches me perfectly. It matches me perfectly to the T. To the T. Well, it's not that hard to find a foundation to match me um, because I'm caramel. Usually, um, caramel skin has foundation in almost um, every foundation. But to find something that is like matches me perfectly, and I just J forget a store, and I just from the shelf J I was like, you know, I took it, didn't even try try it out. I am going to add more because, like I said, um, my foundation <laughs> needs to always look snatched, like. I need to look like I'm wearing foundation. I need to look like I'm wearing foundation. <laughs> Do you see any scars? I can't. I can't create any. My foundation is beautiful. Such a beautiful foundation. So yeah, like I said. I blend, 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 and blend. So then, for <laughs> guys, look at this foundation. Like, look at this foundation, guys. Can't get any better. To conceal, to highlight, I am going to go in with this LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the color called Tan. Just, you know highlight my face like so i am someone who likes the highlighted look but for work i usually go a bit chilled because i'm not trying to have like a or look like i have like tons and tons of makeup on my face because i'm in front of kids and so forth and i don't want to look I don't want to do too much <laughs> I, I don't want to do too much in front of kids so even if this some people consider too much but I try my best not to be too much <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna blend that also I don't know why but this concealer and this foundation go perfectly perfectly together like it goes amazing together so that's why i usually gravitate towards um this concealer every time i wear this this foundation i haven't tried the concealer the candid concealer the revlon candid concealer i don't know why i keep saying the candid um but it is candid so yeah i haven't tried that concealer yet um i don't know if i should try it because i'm not a fan of trying new um concealers as much as i'm open um in terms of trying new um things when it comes to makeup but for concealer i'm very very picky like i'm very picky I only use two concealers and that's the LA Girl Pro Conceal and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I've also tried the, um, the Makeup Revolution Concealer, which is also great, but it's not my favorite um, to use more, especially because I, I work every day. I can't use that um, concealer every day. It's too it's too much so i gravitate towards the baby and fit me and this um one as well the la go pro conceal thingy so 
Yo, that's pretty much that. And then after blending that in, I use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 55. I use this just to contour my nose because, hey guys, I don't know, like, I like contouring my nose. Like, I'm so obsessed with contouring my nose. I don't know why, because I don't have a big nose. I fall under the small nose category. Do I? I think so. I think so. So, but I like thingy. I like contouring my my nose. So, I use that concealer to just contour. And then I'll just, you know, blend it out like... Uh, so look at the nose look at them looking all snatched and small even though i don't contour my nose that much um i still like the you know that contoured look and then yeah. to set that in place i use this powder from yardley this is the yardley absolute translucent powder everyone knows that i'm obsessed with this powder you guys know that i'm obsessed with this powder uh, so it's the powder i use more especially because i'm going to be wearing a mask the whole Ooh. what was that i don't like that it's the exposure is, is that what it's called exposure guess so so I just do that oh my god I have a cramp <laughs> oh my leg oh hell no I hate I hate that I don't know why I hate it so much but like I hate cramping excuse me I'm putting on a lot of powder that's simply because I am going to be wearing a mask and speaking the whole day going to classes the whole day so I do tend to use a lot of powder than normal so you're and then to just contour or to powder contour my face I go in with this essence powder I'm not sure what the shade of this is actually here this is true caramel i choose i just used that <laughs> i almost said i juiced <laughs> so i'm just going to slightly contour my face not too much just enough just enough you know just just enough just enough g just you know just enough so that <laughs> i look proper then i'm going to contour my nose um when i find my small contouring brush this is it i got this from this other shop around my hood my hood Look at the nose, look at the nose, look at the contour. <laughs> it's so dramatic. Oh my god. So that is pretty much it. Then I dust off the powder with this big fluffy brush. Literally, this is all I do when I'm rushing to work. I just make sure that my base is looking fire and then um I just <laughs> I just go to work and then obviously I'm going to put on blush like 
even if it's like an everyday makeup thing i do put on blush this is my favorite blush from revlon in the color very berry mm. i'm so obsessed with blush <laughs> it, it i don't know blush makes me i don't know like blush is just it's just blush like it makes you look nice like i love blush so much so so much and then i'm going to highlight my face um using this palette over here this palette over here um this is the palette i got from essence it's called the choose your glow highlighter palette i am going to just you know and I'll put on that highlighter put on the highlighter just highlight my nose and then my I don't know who said we should highlight this part. I don't know what this part. The Cupid's bow. Is it the Cupid's bow? I don't know. But I don't know who said we should highlight that area. But I do that. And I've recently started to highlight my forehead. It looks good in pictures. So here and then I'm going to quickly set my face with this Instafix and go primer from Rimmel it's starting to look super cute so I don't put on any eyeshadow when I go to work that's just me i do put on some lashes sometimes so i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my lashes and then come back okay Girl. so i figured i should just come back and do my lips as my what's this as my lashes are drying so the lipstick i use all the time every day is these two lipsticks so my hands are dirty so this is the smudge liquid lipstick it is in the shade sugar i don't know if you guys can see that and this is the one by essence dark face so i use this one on my outer thingy like i use it as a as a lip liner so i just use that to pretty much line my lips like so i use matte lipsticks because uh, i'll be wearing a mask and honestly these lipsticks they lost the whole Day. I don't need to top them off. I do this in the morning and then I don't know who I think I am putting on lipstick and talking at the same time. I just do that like like so and then I take the other lippy and then I just, you know, ombre it. Is it ombre? Just put it like that. And then and then that's pretty much my lips 
um yeah let me make them a bit lighter I'm a nude lipstick type of girl. I do nude lipsticks <laughs> 24 7 honestly. To be honest with you guys, I do nude lipsticks all the time. Let me just put on mascara while we are at it. This is the um, Lash Princess mascara from Essence. I'm just gonna coat one coat of mascara on my top lashes. Now I'm just gonna go and pull my lashes and then come back with the final look, baby. So basically, this is it. This is the final look. This is how I look on an everyday basis. If you catch me at work, if you catch me during the week, this is how I always look. Pretty simple, straightforward, but still beat to the gods. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned something and here um i'll see you guys on my next one please don't forget to subscribe we are on the road to 2000 subscribers um, ah.